Hi, it's Mike, and welcome back to our Thursday edition of our Tuesday Thursday video messages for you. During the months of May and June, I do between 40 and 45 three hour seminars for our clients in Southern California, Nevada, Arizona. And what I'm doing is I'm just trying to share with them some ideas and some tips to keep their levels of productivity at the highest, hopefully, position they can possibly attain. And in doing so, what we're talking about is the importance of taking listings. You and I know that if you're going to ever become a big success, and a lot of you are in real estate, listings are the name of the game. You've heard it a thousand times. That message will never change. So what I'm going to do today for Thursday, next Tuesday, and next Thursday is I'm going to talk a little bit about this whole concept of what you can do to build your inventory to take more listings. Guys and gals, if you want to make money in real estate, you take listings, period. I mean, that's it. And if you don't understand it, don't accept it, well, not understanding it is one issue because we can help you understand it. Not accepting it is an issue that we can't change. You have to understand and accept the fact that the people that make the most amounts of money, do the most numbers of deals, are always going to be strong listing agents. So there's two quick thoughts for you for today. The first thought, you can never get a lot of listings unless you become a master at the listing presentation, how you present yourself and how you present your service. People buy because of the presentation. In selling, there's three steps, prospect, present, and close. All the money, all the contracts are signed because of the presentation. Now, I know people will say to you, you have to be a great prospector. I agree. You have to be a great closer. I agree. But what makes a great prospector great is the ability to present themselves to a seller when they have to present themselves, to do it in a convincing fashion, do it enthusiastically, energetically to get the people excited about the service you offer. How good are you at presenting yourself? Take your ego out of it. Take your ego aside. How good are you at presenting yourself? If you're going on 10 presentations, are you getting eight of those contracts signed? Not talking about just past client centers of influence and getting eight contracts signed with 10 people over three months. I'm talking about can you get eight or 10 contracts signed per month out of 10 or 12 presentations because of the strength of your presentation. The second thing we're talking about is the fact that you have to overcome some of the fears you have about prospecting, some of the stories you tell yourself about prospecting, and a lot of the excuses that you have about prospecting. The only way to generate a large volume of business is through some type of prospecting. You decide the methodology you want to use. There's 30 methods of prospecting in real estate. Pick the two or three that will get you at least three or four great listing appointments per week. You get three or four listing appointments per week, you're going to win this game. You're going to get a lot of listings. But you've got to overcome some of the stories you've told yourself or the stories you've heard, the excuses you have that you've built upon and the fear of prospecting. You and I both know, I want high productivity. I have to, in every case, take a lot of listings. Let's work together to get you the number of listings you deserve. You should be a great listing agent. And if you're not, let's help you become one. If you are, let's enhance it. Let's make you better. We're going to do that every Tuesday and Thursday for the next several weeks. Talk to you again next Tuesday.